This is a lot of work to put on. They come in the morning and they address you, and it's kind of like how I imagine it would be to be a pharaoh, and it's kind of how it would be for, for Tutankhamun in the morning, I would imagine. You really become the character once you're in the clothing. It's unbelievable. It really takes you where you need to go. You put all this stuff on and you become a completely different person. I have been so interested in all my life about Egypt. And my dream from when I was a kid, it was to do an Egyptian film. The most important thing for me is to know everything, to know everything, of course, about the shape, about the fabrics, about the colors. And after that, I start to, to make drawings. To represent that period, you have to use the real family. That means they're linen, so we are trying to stay in natural fabric as much as we can. The Egyptians believed in the purity of linen, and flax grew well in ancient Egypt, and so they cultivated that flax and made it into linen cloth. And the linen cloth could be of the highest thread count imaginable. It could be soft and gauzy, could be pleated. This is all hand pleated silk. She starts from a piece of fabric like that, and uh, the effect of this pleated thing is really unique. You cannot find this kind of fabric around. So you cannot go and buy pleated linen uh, in any place. So we are manufacturing everything. We are manufacturing all the clothes, and we are dying and aging every single piece. All the embroidery, the jewels, the armor, everything is made by hand. So from this piece of metal, they make that armor. It's unbelievable. They make one by one, so the final effect is this one. This is pretty tight on, um, so there's just enough room to breathe. But I love these little armbands. They're very simple things. They kind of really help me feel the part. What you can't see is this is kind of like a little skirt. <laughs> and in the 100 degree heat, it's quite nice to be wearing a skirt. I mean, for a costume designer, it's a dream. The costumes are very grand, colorful, and you can cut a great shape with them. Look at me now. Why wouldn't people want to dress up in these costumes? They're fun. All my costumes are stunning. The jewelry is gorgeous, and I would wear it today. <laughs> Carlo's amazing. He's costumed everybody, you know. There, I, I don't know how many extras there are. Everyone has been meticulously costumed by this guy, this lovely Italian man who, who comes up and looks you up and down and changes the tiniest detail. I asked Carlo where he was going to draw the line between background quality and tut. And he said, the guy who's 800 meters from the camera, who's a background artist who will never come closer than three football fields, I put as much effort into making his wardrobe as I do tuts. And that kind of really spoke to how we're doing this. It's across the denominator of the entire show, there's this level of authenticity that brings us to the moment of saying action. This could be one of the few time periods for which we have evidence that a king was actively controlled and controlled by men. This situation is highly unusual for ancient Egypt because that just invites problems.